Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and Product Reviews. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the Cricut Design Space application for your Apple devices. With this application, you're going to be able to design on your iPhone, your iPad, and even your iPod. That's right, you're going to be able to design here, there, and everywhere. At a doctor's office, at a kid's soccer game, Heck, you can even design at work if you want to, just don't get in trouble. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download the application and show you some of the features in the Design Space application that makes designing a project super quick, super easy, and lots of fun. Let's go ahead and first start with downloading the application to your Apple device. Downloading the application is quite easy. Go to the Apple App Store search for Cricut Design Space. This will bring up the application and hit the download now button. This will save the application onto your Apple device. Remember, the application is only compatible with the Cricut Explore machine. So if you have the original expression or the expression 2, you will need to upgrade your machine. Now that we've downloaded the application, let's go ahead and run it. You'll be asked if you would like notifications and then we can either set up a new machine or take a look at the app. If we decide to set up a new machine, it will walk you through connecting your Bluetooth wireless adapter to your new machine. I do have a video walking you through this entire process. Click the screen now to see that video. The other option on the welcome screen is the app overview. This will give you a quick look at the Cricut Design Space application, including how to access projects, how to design on your Apple device, how to use the different functions within the Cricut Design Space application. You'll also see the Map Preview and Go option, and of course, how to connect your Explorer to your Bluetooth. Normally when you launch the application, you'll see this screen, which allows you to log into your Cricut.com account. These are Make It Now projects. You can sort through the Make It Now projects by going to this menu, which will break down all of the projects into different categories, Let's take a look at the cards. This brings up all of the different Make It Now projects that are cards. You're able to scroll through and find a project you would like to make. Simply click on the project. You have two options. We can either make it now. If we select this, this will take us straight to the mat and preview where we can load our paper and then cut our project and assemble it. If you would like to customize your Make It Now project, select the project and hit Customize. This allows you to change the Make It Now projects to make it more of a personalized project for yourself. Creating a project in the application is easy. Select Create a New Project. And first, let's show you how to insert an image, text, and shapes. By selecting Image, you're able to bring up all of the images in the Cricut library. Let's take a look first at the categories, which breaks these images down by occasion, holiday, and even brands, including Disney. For this demonstration, I will look up birthday themed. This will bring up all of the images that have a keyword of birthday shown here. You're also able to search within this keyword by typing cake. This will bring up all of the images that have cake and birthday associated with them. Now, we're also able to search by cartridges. By selecting this option, it will bring up all of the cartridge or image sets that Cricut offers. They're in alphabetical order, which makes it very nice and it lets you know how many images are on a cartridge. You can search just your cartridges by selecting this option. This will bring up all of the cartridge you either purchase or subscribe to. Now, we can also search for a specific cartridge by typing in the cartridge name, then selecting that cartridge, and it will bring up all the images associated with that cartridge. We're also able to search specifically a keyword. If I search tree, this will bring up all of the images with the keyword of tree. On these images, you'll notice they will either be subscribed, purchased, uploaded, or a cost. You'll also notice the print icon, which means this is a print, then cut. You have a filter option, which allows you to filter all of your images based on ownership or type. We can bring up specific types like cards and envelopes. 
and this will bring up all of the different cards and envelopes offered to us in the image library. Inserting an image into Design Space is fairly easy. Select the images and you'll notice a green box around them and they will also show up at the bottom of your screen. If you select an item that you do not want anymore, click on the item and hit the trash button and this will remove it from your selection. Once you have your image selected, hit insert and you'll notice it goes straight into Design Space. Let's add some text to our project. Select the text option and a dialog box will appear. Type whatever text you would like. Going to this option allows you to change the type of font you've used. You have Cricut fonts, system fonts, and all of your fonts. It will let you know if this has a writing style, if it's multi-layer, and it will tell you what cartridge the font can be found on. Once you've selected your font, you'll notice it change in Design Space. You're also able to change the style. You can change to bold or even the writing style that will draw your text using Explorer. You can align your text by centering it or aligning left or right. You're also able to change your letter spacing, your line spacing, and how big your text is. You can change horizontally and vertically. Cricut Design Space offers free shapes to use. Select shapes, pick the shape you would like, and it automatically goes into Design Space for you to design with. Now that our image is in Design Space, we can change the size and rotate it easily by selecting the image and using the arrows in the bottom right hand corner. When the lock is turned on, it will keep the ratio. When we turn the lock off, we're able to change the width and height independently. We also have a rotate option that allows us to easily rotate our image. And we have a delete button that easily deletes it. If we take a look at some more advanced actions, we're able to ungroup an item so we can work with each individual layer. Once we've ungrouped it and we need to regroup it, we can put all the layers back together, draw a box around it, and hit the group button. Sometimes we need to attach a layer to another layer. To do this, grab your first item and then bring the second item on top of the layer. Draw a box around these items and hit the attach. This will attach the top layer to the bottom layer, making it one item. You're also able to detach it so they are separate items once again. Sometimes we like to create new shapes. We can easily do this by moving the items we want to weld together, overlaying each other, draw a box around these items, and hit the weld key. Now we have a new design that we can use in our project. What if you want to cut a shape within a shape? We can achieve this by laying two shapes on top of each other. Draw a box around these items and hit the slice key. And just like a cookie cutter, it will slice the top shape into the bottom shape, giving you a new image. Need to copy an item? Select the item, hit duplicate, and now you have two. By selecting an item and hitting flatten, this will turn it into a print then cut file. You'll be able to use this in your desktop version to print and cut this item. Need to hide a specific part of an image? By using the contour option, we are able to hide the lines in this heart. Select the items we no longer want and hit contour again. You'll notice the lines are gone in the heart. Sometimes we like a little bit more control when editing our images. You can do this in the app by selecting the edit key. This allows you to change the size of your image to a specific measurement. With the lock on, you'll keep the ratio of your width and height, but if you turn the lock off, you'll be able to change the width and height independently from each other. You'll be able to rotate your image to a specific degree. You'll be able to horizontally flip your image or vertically flip an image. When selecting your font, you'll notice your edit options will drastically change. You'll be able to change the font name to a different font and see it change on the screen. You can change your font style to the writing style so your machine will now write the text versus cutting it. You can change the alignment and also change how big or small your font is. Another great feature in the application is the ability to use alignment tools within the application. Draw a box around an item and hit center and it will center all of your items for you. 
you can also distribute horizontally or vertically for all your images. Most images, we work with layers. In this case, let's take a look at this top layer and move it by going to the Arrange option and move it to the back. The image is still there, it's just hidden. We can also move the image to the front by selecting Move to Front. Now we know how to move our layers, but what if we want to sync the colors of our layers? We can do that by going to the Color Sync option here. Choose the layer that you would like to sync, grab the three lines next to it, and drag it to the color you would like to sync it with. It will automatically change the color and sync it up as a perfect match. This is important because when Design Space separates your mats, it does it by color. So this will successfully put all of your colors into the right groups. Speaking of layers, let's take a closer look on how we can look at all the different layers. You're going to do this by going to the layer option. This will open your layer tab. From here, you can select an item and then specifically look at each layer. It will highlight blue on your screen to let you know what layer you're working with. Sometimes layers are hidden here and you can turn it on by turning the eyeball. You can also delete the layer by hitting the trash can. Select the layer and hit the arrow key. This gives you specific options like changing the color, writing the item, scoring it, or printing it. You can also change a whole group to print and cut by selecting it, hit edit, and flatten. Now your image is a print then cut image. You can also duplicate an image by selecting it and hitting the duplicate key. And now you have two images to work with. By far my favorite feature is the camera option. This allows you to use the camera on your phone or iPad to visually take an item and then select an image to overlay on the item, giving you an idea of what your finished project will look like. You can even resize it to fit perfectly onto the item. Once done, hit the camera option and you're ready to cut your item on your Cricut Explorer. What a great feature. Want to customize your settings on the application? Go to the settings menu where you can turn it to metric units. Turn your grids on or off, or turn your smart guides on or off. What are smart guides? Well, with it off, you'll notice I have no guides telling me if my item is lined. Turn on smart guides and you'll notice a faint yellow line letting me know when my item is perfectly lined up with another item. Once your project's finished, you can save it by selecting the save disk. Type in your project name and this will save it for future use. If you'd rather just cut your item, you can hit send to mat. Once you send it to mat, you can look at all the different mats by going each individual mat. You can also use the arrows left and right to go through every single mat to visually see everything. You can change your paper size by selecting this option and selecting the new paper size and you'll see it change on your mat. You'll also notice sometimes you'll have multiple functions happening on a mat, like this one we're drawing and cutting. You can also mirror so that way if you're using iron-on, it automatically flips your image. If we have a Bluetooth adapter, we'll notice our machine on an accessory list. Select the machine and it will connect. Now, just load your paper and set your smart dial. You'll see it change from vinyl to paper. You can even look for custom materials. Simply hit go and the machine will start to cut your project. It's really that easy to use this application. I am in love with the Cricut Explore machine for the fact that I can use the Cricut Design Space application on any of my Apple devices. And the great thing is, is it's free in the Apple App Store. Now you do need the Cricut Explore machine to use this application. So if you have the original Cricut bug or the Expression or Expression 2, you would need to upgrade your machine to use this application. But boy, is it worth it. If you already have the Cricut Explore Air, you have the wireless Bluetooth technology built into that machine. But if you have any of the other Explore machines, you would want to purchase the wireless Bluetooth adapter and plug it into your machine. You do not need the wireless Bluetooth adapter to use the Cricut app. However, you will need it if you want to cut straight from your Apple devices to your Cricut Explorer. Now this app has some great features, but by far my favorite feature is the fact that I have access to all of these Cricut images and my own images to design at any time. 
and using the camera on our iPads and iPhones, we can visualize a project. We can see an item, place an image on it, and get a preview of what our finished product will look like. And you can save an image on your Apple device to the cloud and access it from any other device or from your home computer. And this is important because right now, Print and Cut is not supported on the Apple devices. You can design for Print and Cut, save it, and then log on to your computer and cut it on your machine. But you never know, that could be part of a future update that I'll be definitely looking forward to. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, taking a look at the Cricut Design Space app for our Apple devices. Make sure you check my blog over at www.creativeken.com, where I'll go over more features of this app and give you the specific requirements you need on your Apple devices to run this application. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking subscribe now. Also, don't forget I'm on Facebook where you can like my Facebook page or join my Facebook group. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram by using the at Ken's Creations. And don't forget to download the new Design Space application. This is amazing and it's going to give you so much freedom to create amazing and beautiful things. And no matter what you create in your craft room, I hope you make something magical. Thanks everyone.